Hello and welcome. Today we go with next level with C actions inside WinCC V7. Today we have the basic elements inside C program that we can make inside our scripts. So we have the preprocessor directives, comments, declarations and instructions. Let's go to first preprocessor directives. We can include some programs, headers and symbolic definitions. These lines are invoked by the compiler before any compilation of our scripts. So we can include something or define some static elements, for example the H10, and we can use this H in our script in global scripts any time we want. We can include also the stdio.h it's special file with more scripts, more definitions of our functions and we can include this into our script. So we can use this preprocessor directives to make our functions ready to use for example the math options or the file options and we have a lot of headers that we can use inside our scripts. If you need to make some examples with this including and define something you can make this in C actions. We will make this in next weeks. Until now we go with interview about the C actions. The next we can make in C actions in WinCC is a comments. Okay, so sometimes we need to comment something inside our script and uh, we have some solutions to make this. We can use the slash star make some comment like hello I am comment and we can finish this with the star and slash again so we can have the part of the comments and we have for example three or four lines with the comments and we can also use the double slash to make the line one line comment so we have the below I am the comment too, so we can use this in our scripts. The next, we can use the declarations. Of course, we can declare some var variables and we can declare some tables, strings or some other things. Anyway, in declarations inside our scripts, we use for example the int, my integer and we need to use the semicolon on the last part and for example the next example is the float for example answer and we need to finish with the semicolon the last is the instructions inside our instructions we need to use the specific structure for our compiler compilator this compilator needs to have this brackets and these brackets need to be used inside our functions. So if you use for example the if else we need to use a lot of brackets and we can't miss any of this bracket. So take your time and uh, check every bracket in your script because a compilator won't allow you to use this script if you have some errors. Every line we use in our instructions we need to finish with semicolon. It's important for the C actions and WinCC compilator use this also. So we need to remember about this. Here we have the small example about the WinCC action script, 
how it looks and where we have the elements inside our scripts. So we have the preprocessor directives as we, as we see we have the include app ap devapp.h so we include some library we need to use if you want to use the void function on click so this is the normal function for click on the button WinCC automatically including this AP the D WinCC automatically including this heading file and we don't need to remember about this if you want to use for example the math functions we need to use the include math.h so we can make some multiplication or some more sqrt we see the variables options and we see for example the int my integer and it's finished with semicolon below we see for example the float answer variables is 1.09 and again with the semicolon on the last position the next we see the use of the comments hi i'm comment here so we see the line it's commented inside our script and we can say for example to our colleague from department hey don't use this function because it's broken we need to fix this so we can say someone who opened this script don't use this until for example or we can say i made the changes today about the 2 p.m and uh, everyone know that this guy changed these functions it's important to make the comments inside our functions and our scripts the last we see the small program we see the if else functions so we see the if our answer is greater than 2 we can print some lines else if this answer is not greater we can print only one line let's make a challenge make the script in your SCADA system and make me a comment which answer is good the first with three lines or only one line if you have any questions about these topics of course you can leave me the comments I will answer for you I used for this the sources the Siemens.com the book the C programming language and of course I'm Lucas from myscadaword.com don't hesitate to subscribe for this channel and see you next week bye